Okay, welcome to our webinar today. We're going to talk about your roadmap to ICF credential. And I'm sure this is one of the very important topic, especially for those who are seriously pursuing their coaching professions. Now, let me just, uh, before we start, let me just emphasize this point that as much as academy is concerned, we are very supportive and we try to help our students to close up the, uh, the information gaps between the ICF credential. But nevertheless, it is important to understand that the academy is not responsible for the issuing of the credential. Okay, we are uh, the ICF uh, is responsible to issue the credential, and the information is constantly updated at ICF websites. So, it will be great, you know, that you make it a good practice to refer to ICF website for any updated information because, you know, ICF is not uh, responsible to inform us as an academy regarding any updates to the credential. They might, okay, they will do their best to update us, but that is not their obligation to update us. The academy relationship with ICF is only on the accredited program, okay, the coaching training program. So the rec, um, the the credential part is something that is not within the uh, training program. So it would be a very good habit of practice for students to refer to ICF website for any updates informations. Now, if you have any, um. Uh, uh, I mean, in the process of sending out your applications, if there are anything that you need to clarify, the best person to clarify is still ICF. You will find the contact person in the ICF website. Meaning, because we don't actually cons uh, we don't actually have any access to their back end applications, and ICF credential departments are a different department from the. Uh, coaching training program okay so in moving forward we just want to sort of like there are a lot of students uh, completing your coaching certificate training during this couple of months so um, I, I'm sure there's a lot of you who are interested in pursuing forward so that's why we thought it might be very helpful for us to have this webinar to get some of the basic information across to those who are already moving forward to apply their credential. We recognize the fact that there is a long period of gap between the day you do your training program and to, to, until today. And there are so many changes that has been within that one year. So the information I'm going to present is abs uh, is as to date as to today. Okay, the requirement for your credential and some of the uh, procedure and process. But again, you know, it is still the student's best practice to check out, verify the information from the ICF website. So let's move on forward to see what is needed for you to um, apply for your credential. I will give the presentation first and if you have any question, please note it down and then we will uh, deal with them as we finish the presentation. Your roommate to ICF credential, this is uh, one of the things that were presented uh, during your uh, classroom training, but nevertheless, I think it is still very helpful to review them. Now, the IC, your roommate to, IC, uh, to apply for your ICF credential, ICF requires two important component okay what are the two comp uh, component required here uh, just a minute yes the session has been recorded so don't worry um, there are two components in, uh, involved here the first one is your certificate training the other one is a validated experience let me go through the certificate training ICF offers two different type of training, the 60 hours and 125 hours. The 60 hours training allows you to apply for the first level, that is ACC, while the 125 hours allows you to apply for your PCC. This is the first requirement 
to apply for your credential and this training program that you are currently attending or enroll allows you to complete this requirement upon finishing the requirement for completion for this training that is attending for the four days training program complete your 20 hours practical training plus your written assignment and submit all the documents that is the log sheet submit your written uh, assignment submit your final recording for those who are has been uh, those who those are required to submit the final recording for final review once you have completed this uh, requirement for your certificate training you will be issued with a certificate bearing is uh, icf acsth logo okay so this is the first step towards applying your credential you need to complete your certificate training upon completing the certificate training you can use that certificate to apply for your icf members now let me just clarify this when you have completed the certificate training that is offered by i'm a life coach you are technically certified as a coach the certification you have is certified coach according to icf standard so you are certified as a coach upon completing your 60 hours training. So what you can include in your business card is the title, a certified coach according to ICF standard if you want to put it. If not, simply certified coach. And then you can apply for ICF member. And when you apply for ICF member membership, you can put ICF logo onto your business card now if you don't apply for icf membership you cannot put icf logo into your business card or in your website okay so let me repeat again once you finish your 60 hours of training you are a certified coach according to icf standard but you cannot put the ICF logo in your business card because you are an, you are not part of ICF okay so in order to, so if you want to be associated with ICF you can do it at number one the first level as a ICF member so all the documents required uh, to become ICF member is simply completing your 60 hours of training once you have applied for your membership, then you can put the ICF logo and call yourself a certified coach and ICF member. So once this is step number one, complete your certificate training. Now, as you can hear from this, uh, yes, as you can hear now, the ICF member and ICF credential are two different thing okay becoming an icf member doesn't mean that you become a credential coach you are just saying that you have completed certificate uh, your certificate training and right now is a member of icf pass allowing you to participate in their chapter meetings their virtual learning attend conference and enjoy discount as any other membership that does not validate your credential okay so if you want to add more value to your uh, profession then that is where the credential comes in in other words the credential part the credential means that a, a, a regulating body has endorsed and confirmed that you do you you do not just you you have the knowledge and you can deliver the service at a consistent level so that is what the credential says now to apply for your credential therefore require you to show to icf that you not only know the skills but you are able to deliver it consistently to demonstrate that icf requires you to have client coaching hours that means real 
case of you working with people. Okay, you are not just attending the training and have a lot of knowledge, but you actually work with people. You understand the process because you've been through the process. Okay, so this coaching clients coaching hours for ACC is hundred hours, and for PCC is seven hundred and fifty hours. This has to be done before you submit your applications. Okay, it's basically your real. Experience in working with people. Now, ICF provides you a log sheet where you can uh, fill up this detail, which I'm going to show you later. Okay, so first step, uh, besides the certificate training, you need to have hundred hours or seven hundred and fifty hours of coaching hours. That is one part of the requirement. The second part of the requirement is that you. You work with a mentor coach, a qualified mentor coach, for ten hours. Now you can have hundred hours of real experience, but who verify that this hundred hours is done correctly? So the only way that ICF can know that you have done the hundred hours or seven hundred fifty hours or whatever the hours is, is where you have been. Personally, being supervised and mentored by a qualified mentor coach, the requirement is ten hours, and you can only, uh, you can begin your mentor coaching after you have completed your first requirement, that is certificate training, and that makes a lot of sense. You must complete your certificate training. Then move on to your mentor coaching. This mentor coaching is separate process from the sixty hours. I you we ah、uh, in this sixty hours of coaching training that is provided by I'm a life coach. I know that we offer you ten session of practical coaching where you are being supervised by a、uh, supervisor, but that is not. The mentor coaching package that ICF required for the credential application. In the ten hours of practical coaching session, basically our focus is more on you integrating your classroom knowledge into a、uh, application and helping you to fine tune that integration. That by no means guarantee that you have perfected the skills. Because in these ten hours of practical coaching, you can integrate the skills, but yet demonstrate a weak requirement in fulfilling a weak uh, uh, requirements in meeting the ACC level. Okay, it means that you 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 got it there, but you you some but but it's not fully. Ah,、uh, crystallize yet, but roughly we can understand that you understood what is required, and you're still trying to perfect it. That is where the certificate training is. The certificate training does not guarantee or、uh, does not assure perfections of skills. It only ensures that you have understood what it is and able to demonstrate it. So the demonstration doesn't need to be one that is. Hundred percent perfected, okay. So that is where you. That is where the mentor coaching right now takes place. The mentor coach looks at where your learning level is and try to help you to reach a level where you can fully demonstrate the requirements at whatever level that you're applying. That ten hours of mentor coaching. Let me say again, it is not. The ten hour, ah,、uh, the twenty hours of supervised practical coaching that you have went through. This is a separate package, a separate package that is not part of the course package that you have enrolled or purchased during your certificate training. You can, ah,、uh, Google for your own mentor coach in the website, or you can refer back to the, our academy where you can get a fast track to complete your mentor coaching. Because the framework that we're using has clo-、uh, has integrated the core competency within the framework. Okay, so that is the second requirements that is needed to apply for your credential. 
and this has to be done before you apply uh, for the application. And the third require uh, the next requirement is the written examination. This is the knowledge based assessment. The <coughs> written examination only takes place after you have applied your application online with ICF upon uh, confirming your requirements and uh, verifying that you have already completed your credential and the requirements for 100 hours or 750 hours and upon verific uh, verification with the mentor coach. Once all this has been verified uh, in order, then ICF will send you a separate email where you can log in to uh, sit for your written examination. The written examination is a multiple choice. It's a 155 multiple choice questions where you, you need to do it within four hours. Okay, so these are the four requirements needed to apply for your credential. The certificate training is just one part of the entry point. In addition to the certificate training, you have to complete your coaching hours, the real ex uh, coaching client experience, 10 hours of mental coaching, which is not the 20 hours of supervised coaching that you have done in the 60 hours and is a separate package, and the written examinations. So at this point of time, I'm going to pause and uh, check does anyone has any questions regarding what has been said so far before we move on to show you where you can get the paper documents if i will appreciate if you can put yourself on mute i will appreciate if you can put yourself on mute if not we're going to get a lot of feedback so does anyone have any question Okay, Clement, so sorry, I need to put you on mute because I'm getting a lot of feedback from your side. Okay, Howard, I need to put you on mute too. Okay, anyone has any questions to clarify? Uh, so sorry, I need to put you on mute also because you got a lot of voice uh, feedback coming up. Okay. I'm going to pause for a while for any questions and uh, clarification. Yes, uh, uh, about 100 hours coaching. Uh -huh. uh, uh, by that, how, how's the period uh, they, they would need? Is there any uh, period that they specify to submit? Yes, good. That's a very good question. There is no... Um, there is no restriction on the period. It, it, that means you can go back. As long as you can show proof, you can go back to 10 years <laughs> in record. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. I will show. I will show you the. Uh, I will show you the. Uh, uh, the document. I mean, how to document it later. Uh, but to answer your question, no, that that is no restriction. Okay. There's another question. Is um, how to, uh, about the mentor coaching? I will explain the mentor coaching package later. Okay, so I just basically want to go through ICF requirement first and then how to fill up the documents. Then I'm going to talk about the mentor coaching part and then the writ written examinations. Okay, anyone else have any questions regarding the requirements? Uh, ben? Uh, yes, Michael? Yes, yeah, sorry to disturb you. Uh, this uh, uh, lock thing, uh, are you going to, can we get it on the... Uh... In a, to see it in the proper way, in the picture yeah. or whatever form, yes. format. Yes, I will show you. Yeah, that, I will, will show. that will hide, guide us, you know. Sure, no problem. I will show you that. Don't worry. Okay, okay, okay Clement you. has a question. Request to verify the recording of 100 hours. Must it be after? <laughs> okay, that, that is a very interesting question. Okay, uh, Clement, I'll get back to you. Uh, get back to you on that when I show you the actual, uh, the actual documentation that is required by ICF. Okay, is there anyone else have any questions? If you have, 
Okay, great. That's a good question, Clement. I saw that. Okay, so let me let me just now go straight to the uh, actual documentation. Uh, where? Okay, I believe you can see my screen. Um, cannot where, see them. Uh, can you? Is it okay now? Can you see? No, no, no. Nothing. No. Wait. I don't know what happened. You only see the go to web me now. Eh? Uh, you should be able to see the um. Uh, no. You should be able to see my screen showing the website right now. Oh. Are you able to see that? No, no. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, go to ICF website under individual credentialing. Click on whatever levels that you are, you want to uh, apply. In any case, ACC and PCC is almost the same except for the, the quantity. Okay, so select ACC. And under ACC, there are three options for you to choose. Now, let me, let me be clear again. Choose ACSTH path. Don't choose ACTP path. That will delay your application process. Okay, choose ACSTH path. This is where the 60 hours of training that you have... I mean, this is where you have completed the 60 hours of certificate training. When you click mm. on that, you should see application requirements. Okay, so you have already completed the first one. That is the 60 hours of coach-specific training. So what you need to do now is to get the 100 hours of clients coaching requirements. When you click on the 100 hours, it brings you to the, uh, uh, the, 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 the site where he explains to you in details. So there, under the lower part section, you should find something called documentation. Under documentations, Basically, you need to you need to create you need to maintain your own log sheet of those client that you have coached. Now, the requirements to consider this as a coaching services is basically only two main criteria. The first one that this must be an there must be an agreement between you. And the clients that this is a coaching session. Second, there must be a transaction. Now, the first one uh, regarding agreement, ICF doesn't require you to submit any form of coaching agreement. Okay, basically what they do is a ver email verification at random with the clients that you have submitted. They do not need a hard copy of a coaching agreement. Therefore, the coaching agreement can be verbal or written. All that is required of you is that there must be the understanding that this conversation that you are going to have is a coaching conversation. For example, if you just meet a friend of yours or an employee comes to you and you are having some table discussion and you decided to turn this conversation into a coaching conversation, this is not a coaching conversation according to ICF uh, documentation. Okay, hope this is clear. What will make this uh, conversation a coaching conversation that is part of the requirement is where you pause i mean that's where you tell the person that hey i see a potential here where we can engage a different kind of conversation how about me coaching you around this topic where i will be your coach and you can be a client and to honor the time you know it will be you know would you be able to buy me a meal you know, as a way of you not know, honoring my time, and the person say yes. Then you can use that session as a uh, as a legitimate entry for your hundred hours. Okay. So let me make it very simple. It must be an agreement. Okay. The agreement doesn't have to be a written agreement as long as both party understands that this is a coaching session. There must be a transaction involved. What that transaction, uh. Uh, looks like ICF does not regulate that. 
as long as there is a transaction, that is all that the borders. Okay. Ah, uh, Ben, Ben. Yes, Michael, go ahead. Sorry to interrupt you. Just one question. Uh, for example, we have been coaching people prior to taking the program, uh, your your program, and then the of course that time we didn't know about the, uh, what they call all these things that is required. Now we uh, go back to the client, and the client give us certified uh, uh, email uh, trans uh, what confirmation is that uh, counted? Uh, yes, as long as you meet these two requirements, there must be an agreement. Yeah. Yes. There must be a transaction. I would as, now reconfirm back the last one or two years or three years I've been getting this coaching. As long as there is an agreement. Yes. Okay, we, we just work with what is the boundary. The boundary is okay. a, agreement and a transaction, that's all. Anything that with an agreement, okay. with a transaction, you can use that as a legitimate entry point. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, got it. I'm hope that yes, I'm hoping uh, that all of you can see my screen. Yes. Okay, you can see the screen. That would be great. Okay, well done. Can we? Uh, yeah, move, uh, sorry, you can yes. go on. Please. Um. Yeah, and ICF we contact our our clients at random. I mean, uh, because they will not contact. They will send an email verification mm -hmm. in random. So they uh, that we send the email to them, right? Yes. So one of the things as you read in this website, prior mm -hmm. to, uh, before you actually put the client's name into the log sheet to be submitted, you must get a consent from mm -hmm. the client that you mm -hmm. are send sending this requirement and uh, this agreement that you had or this coaching service you had as an entry point for your client coaching hours. So that in the event, if ICF sends a verification email to them, they will not be surprised. Yes, and uh, may I know the message that they are going to, to send to our clients? It's simply how, to how verify it with them whether during this period, uh, this period, whether during this period of time has this coach offers a coaching services uh, to them. That's all. Uh, uh, ben, Ben, on this yeah. point, uh, uh, what happened is I make my client initial confirm that I've done this with them on my log sheet. Yeah, sure, it doesn't matter. As long as your client is aware that you are set, submitting yeah. that uh, to yeah. ICF for documentation and be prepared that in the event, if they do receive yeah. a verification, what should they be doing? Yes, yes, thank you. Okay, is that clear? Good. Uh, um, yes. Um, yeah. yeah. And uh, is there any uh, samples of that uh, letters or that uh, ICF email to the clients? No, it's, a, it's just a short sentence, a short paragraph. It's not a lengthy one. It's just a short paragraph. Mm -hmm. Introducing yeah, that uh, we are going to be to be satisfied. <laughs> See here and there. And no, 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 no. They they won't. They won't. <laughs> They are just verifying whether there is an agreement. Is there a, a, a legal co coaching take place between you and the coach? I mean, you and the client. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Now, take but, note. But that on, one, they do it randomly also, isn't it, Ben? They yes, do it they randomly. Do at they, random. they don't go through uh, hundreds of coaches, thousands of coaches no, all over the world. They do it do at random. Okay. At random, yeah. Okay, got it. Good, well done. So the documentation, what must be included? There are actually three different types of client that you can capture inside. The most straightforward one is individual client. So very easy. You just put the name, the email, the start date, the end date, and the total hours. Now, in terms of total hours you offer for coaching, you have to indicate whether this is a pro bonus or this is a paid Pro bonus is the one that you don't charge, while paid one is the one that they involve transactions. For pro bonus coaching hours, uh, you are entitled to 25 hours for ACC. Okay, so you basically indicate these four information. Name, email, start date, end date, and total hours, whether it's paid and pro bonus. Got it? So... The next one uh, yeah. is the group client. Group clients, if you got 10 person in a group, it is considered as want. If you got 20 and you're coaching all 20, that is equal to want. For group, 
you just uh you do not need but you do not need to provide the names you only need to provide the name of one individual in the group who is willing to verify for you that's all you don't need to include all 15 just only one okay so the group one is the same as individual just that you have to appoint for one person now the next one the next category belongs to what we call internal or third party clients that is where you are offering coaching. Um, you have been engaged as a coach to offer coaching. It, or you can be an internal coach offering coaching to your staff. Or you can be a, a coach manager offering coaching as part of your responsibility to your staff. If that is the case, you do not need to record or uh, indicate the name of the client that you are coaching. All you need is the name and contact of the person who engaged you to offer the coaching service. So in the website, it makes it very clear what are the information needed. The only difference is that right now, the organization needs to write uh, a letter or, or a memo to say that you have been, uh, what is that, uh, who is this person, the role, his destinations and the company and that they have engaged you for how many hours of coaching you can you know maybe for 10 10 person total of 30 hours so that is all uh, they need okay yep go ahead yes please uh as the in internal by this you mean a uh, uh, clients that are uh, contact us to to do for their group or for their staff yes right? yes mm -hmm. and uh by that uh, then we can uh set into the hours also yes. because we have several ones right yes we can, uh -huh. Right. See, uh, uh, so right name. now, the only difference is that you don't need to write down the name of the client, but write down mm -hmm. the name of the person who engaged you. Mm -hmm. So in that letter, uh, he, he needs to write, you have been engaged to coach, let's say, five clients. Total mm -hmm. hours is, let's say, 30 hours. Mm -hmm. And this is a paid mm -hmm. coaching hours. Okay. Got it, and th so the person must, uh, will the person will be then if if uh, I say wanted, uh, if I say want, they will verify with this person to say that is this a agreement that is valid. So the person say yeah, 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 this is true, and they will accept it as thirty hours. Mm, okay, thank the you. Okay, got it. Thank you, Michael. Do you have any uh, question? Oh uh, yeah, Ben. Yeah, two two things here. Uh, what happened if it's uh. Uh, you said that name, email, start date, end date, but uh, if it's ongoing, there's no end date yet. Uh, ongoing till if it's a long-term coaching, yeah. Ongoing till the date you submit your application. Uh, till the date, uh, so we say uh, in bracket ongoing. Uh. Ongoing, calculate till the date you are submitting your application. Okay, and then uh, another clarification, R rightly or wrongly, I have the, uh, given the impression that the num the this uh, client, the hundred hours for the client coaching, uh, you have to have a minimum of a certain number of clients. They cannot be confined to only a small group, you know, a small number. Am yeah. I right or wrong? The numbers are very small. You need to minimum. It is written here that you need to have minimum twenty uh, or something. Is it? No, 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 no. It's much lesser than that. It's about seven. Seven, and then the same thing for pro bono customer also. You know, twenty five hours only cannot be confined to one hours. person. I okay. cannot confine to one party. No, 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 no. All you need to do is just remember the bare minimum. Seventh minimum client for 100 hours. All of the 100 hours is 25 hours pro bonus. That's all. Oh, okay. Okay, is someone reflected there in the website that the minimum clients is seventh? It is not, not a lot. It is just seventh. I mean, it's less than ten. But the pro bono, yeah, the pro bono client could also very well be different client from the paid clients. It, it the pro bono one doesn't tie to whether it is one client or ten clients. You can have okay, one okay. client that you offers twenty five hours. It's still twenty five okay. hours. That that thank is you, what you can go. Okay, great. Thank, yeah, thank you, you for that. Okay, so there's one questions 
uh, that uh, someone has to I uh, wanted to clarify. Yes. Uh, uh, request to verify the hundred. Oh, wait, wait, there's one. Eh? Okay. I, the hundred hours uh, uh, clients hours is not including the twenty hours of practical coaching or the mental coaching. Okay, yeah. you cannot use yes. your ten, your one hours or the ten hours that we had ten. Okay, and put that inside your client coaching. Oh, that is not you coaching. You are just attending yeah, yeah, a correct. coaching conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Even if you are coaching <laughs> you the are person on that day, it's thirty minutes. You can't put that inside. It's just only thirty minutes. Okay, it's not going yeah. to help. The the mentor coaching. You are the client. You are not the coach. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you cannot put yeah. inside. Uh -huh. Yes, Ben. Uh, okay. Excuse me. May I uh, final uh, sure. car clarify this, sure. this one? So uh -huh. then we have the three types. It's one individual uh -huh. uh, clients. It's the uh -huh. group clients yes. and also the the uh, whoever engage us for the for their clients for mm -hmm. their group of clients, right? Yes. Three types. And then uh, for the list that uh, we should have the one hundred hours in uh -huh. this within these one hundred hours we should have uh not not we should have, we could have uh, yes. only twenty five hours of the overall nuts yes yes mm -hmm. and total of the one hundred hours and uh, twenty five global nuts mm -hmm. then uh, we should uh, have the minimum list of the client of the seven uh, seven yes clients yes. You're right. Including the pro bonus. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely okay. right. Okay. So there is no, uh, there's one question regarding the charge. There is ICF do not regulate how much you are charging, as long as there is a transaction taking place. That's all. Okay. They will not ask you how much you are charging them. Okay. Hope this clarify. Uh huh. Is there any? Okay. For um, uh, there is. If you can see the website right at the bottom, there is a download ICF client coaching log sheet as a sample. You can download that, and uh, it's in an Excel format. You can use that as a template to uh fill in your record. Okay, so don't email to me and ask me for the template. Okay, I'm so tired trying to reply to all the students. Okay, it's all in the website. Just download from this website that template. Okay, it's called Download ICF Client Coaching Lock. Okay, great. So it seems that we are clear with the 100 hours right now. And let me just check to make sure... Uh, do you need a coaching agreement and contract with the clients? As I mentioned, you need to have a verbal or a written agreement, but that that document does not need to be submitted to ICF. ICF only do an email verification. Okay, uh, verify the 100 hours. Must it be after our ACS qualification? Well, ICF does not regulate that. All they need is that you have... 100 hours of experience working with a client. So it does not regulate whether it's before or after your training at this point of time. So stick with the bare minimum requirements of agreement and transactions involved. Okay, hope this clarify. Uh, mental coach, see the question later. Okay, so uh, the co yes, there's no re uh, it doesn't restrict whether it's face to face or virtual, as long as it is a coaching conversation, you can have it in a different platform. WhatsApp, uh, Clement, yeah. uh, you're pushing the limits <laughs> about WhatsApp. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure about text coaching so far. Uh, but if it works for you, you just put it inside. As long as there's agreement and there's a transaction, the platform, as I said, is not ready to consideration here. Okay, hope this clarify your question. Let me just yeah. clear. Let me just clear the. Um, let yeah. me just clear all the question first. Okay, now. Okay. Uh, Christy, hundred hours include the pro bonus. Yes, hundred includes the pro bonus, which of which the maximum is twenty five hours. Okay, hope this clarify. The next one is, could you please repeat the clarification of agreement? Agreement is simply you and the person understanding that this conversation is a coaching conversation. It does not necessarily have to be a contractual agreement if, um, if I can make it very, very simple and clear. Okay, it's just that both of you have the understanding that this is not a normal conversation, but this is a coaching conversation. 
as long as you can qualify that, that is the lowest bottom line that this uh this requirement can go. Okay, hope this clarify. Okay, good. Okay, so before we move on to the mental coaching, I've cleared most of the question. Is there anything well, one else? Last question. Yeah, sure, Michael, go ahead. Ah, uh, yeah, just uh because uh we have for those who have completed your wonderful coaching uh program, the A ASCTH program, uh, are we equipped to uh, sit the written exam multiple choice questions? Okay, let's deal with the multiple question later first. Okay, let's deal with the 100 okay, hours. Okay. okay, okay. Okay, if there's nothing with the 100 hours, let me move on to the second part. That is the mental coaching. Okay. okay. So again, the requirement for the mental coaching is reflected in the ICA website. All you need to do is just click onto that and all the details information regarding the mental coaching is there. Okay, as I mentioned, the whole essence of the mental coaching is to make sure to, to ensure that you are able to deliver the standard at a consistent level. There are two ways you can source for your mentor coach. You can do your own Google search. Just go to Google, enter mentor coach. You will find a lot of mentor coach. And vast majority of them are from the States or from the uh, uh, London, I mean Europe side or Australia side. The price varies from $250 US to $400 per session. So, and most of them are uh, MCC level. Uh, at this point in time, of course, there are mental coach at PCC and ACC level, which is again, that's where the fees are relatively much lesser than those who are holding at MCC level. Okay, so that is one way you can find your mental coach. Another way you can do that is to go to ICF directory and find, but again, it's the same as those uh, you, you Google and find them. Alternatively, you can come back to our academy to uh, purchase the mental coaching package, which is again a fast track uh, package that allows you to move uh, forward uh, in a shorter time. And we can do that, as I mentioned again, our coaching framework has closely integrated the core competency. All you need is just a little bit of fine tuning to understand uh, the nuances and a little bit more on how it's actually matching up in terms of a real behavior. So you can go to our website, you can uh, click under um, certificate training and you can see one portion here called mentor coaching. In our mentor coaching packaging, we're offering a different packages for various diverse learning needs because we want to understand that all, not all of you are at the same level of learning. Some of you are, are almost you know, meeting the ACC requirement and all you need is just to fine tune certain understanding based on, I mean, whatever that one or two con competency that is not clear. So for those <coughs> for those who are almost meeting, uh, you, sh you, you can just go straight and purchase package two. Let me just show you how the, uh, the mental coaching package has been designed so that you have a better understanding. Basically, the package involves only two uh, components. Okay, the first component is a skill component. The other one is the uh, knowledge component. Let me deal with the skill component first. In all packages, there will be one uh, full review of your recording that is based on your uh, that is based on the ICF core competency. I think for most people, you have not seen or do not have have no impression of what a full report a full record is a full report of your core competency is. So if you can, I've shown you a screen of a full um Are you? a full we report. Did, we cannot see la. Okay, just a minute. Okay. So uh if those who can see on the screen, uh no let me let me just bring out another one that is much easier to uh for you guys to look at. Okay. Mm, okay, let's look at this one. Okay, so, so in this full analyst report, what we do is actually, I will review the recording segment by segment. 
question by questions as how it fits into the core competency. At each question, we I will analyze it for you and let you have the feedback. How is this meeting the requirement and how is this not meeting the requirements? And highlight to you where in particular in terms of the core competency it is not meeting. And then make a suggestion how you can improve that. So as you can see from the screen, this is a very, very detailed analysis of questions by questions with the analyze with the uh, with the feedback with the assessment and the feedback the time is being locked as when this segment is happening and how you can improve it so that you can match it closer to the core competency so that is the full report that you will get Okay, and it will usually take two hours at my level to complete one report. Okay, because we need to review the recording for half an hour, revisit again for another half an hour, and then to prepare the report, which takes about another hour at my level right now. Okay, for those who are just beginning, it may take four to five hours to just get one report like this done out. Okay, it's a very detailed analysis of your competency. Once the report is done, there is another part where you have a debriefing. That's where we meet together and then go through that report. Then the report will be sent to you so that you can analyze it again with the feedback or with the debriefing in mind to work on those areas that you need to improve. Okay, so the mentoring package includes two components. One component is the skill component, which is the full analyst report with the feedback sessions. The only difference between the different package is the number of a review that is being offered. Okay. Good. The second component is the knowledge component. In, uh, in this knowledge component, you will not be coaching, but you will be listening to two records. Uh, the first record is how an ACC recording should not sound like. So you may not be able to fully articulate what the ACC requirements is, but roughly when you're reading the comparison table that is uh, download uh, that you can find in ICA website, you got a gut feel. Yeah, this one doesn't fit into this competency, but you just could not able to explain in what way is it not. But roughly you're able to identify what it is when it went wrong. Okay, so this is the first step. Okay, that we we try to help you to be familiar what it should not be first. Then we meet a debriefing where we debrief your understanding. Yes, we are spotted correctly. And then we'll try to correct it for you and say, yes, this is what it meant when we say that this is not attending to the client's agenda. So we get you to first identify based on your own gut feel what you feel that is not in place. And then during the debriefing, we try to help you to label it correctly so that is one part then the second activity now requires you to identify in what way this recording sounds like acc requirements because now you got that it doesn't looks it doesn't sound right and you have that corrected now you integrate that understanding to a real behavior and try to mesh it for those who are familiar with NLP, this is one way of call, one way of learning called mismatch to match the learning. It's a very powerful way to accelerate your learning. So through these two activities, you will have a very clear understanding of what the core competency is and is not. And this should adequately prepare you for the written exam. I'm not saying that you will prepare you 100%, but it gives you a very good understanding of the con competency. Second, once you get your ACC credential, you can become a potential mentor coach to support a new emerging coach to truly understand what the core competency is. Therefore, in this mentor coaching package, it is so vital for me to pass down the information, to the knowledge to you, so that later when you become a mentor coach for other coaches, you can pass this information to them. So this is a process that is in place. Okay, so in terms of the different packages, 
it really depends on what you really where your learning level is for some people who are almost meeting the requirements you can go for a minimum package that is package number two that is only involving one review and two uh, the the uh, uh, the knowledge uh, component okay what is it not and what it is uh, how how uh, ACC conversation should not sounds like and how it should sounds like then for those who uh, who needs a lot of support to make sure that you can fully fully demonstrate at ACC level there is a much more comprehensive package where there is a five sessions in these five sessions. There are two. Uh, there are altogether three, uh, two reviewing of recording, one full re uh, full review, and another one partial review based on the gap that is reviewed in the full uh, analyst review. With the last session basically more in uh, more uh, open for for you to identify what area, what else is not included in the review that you would like to talk about. Okay, but the last session excludes a full review. Okay, but altogether, that means in other words, altogether, there are three debriefing sessions where you can fully explore your skill set compared to the second package is only one review. Okay, so that is what package three is. There are also some package that is really a much more bigger scope whereby you say that, hey, you know, I want I, I want to really, you know, take this, my coaching skills beyond the core competency. I want to go beyond that. So you can engage uh, package five where we can discuss something else besides what the core competency is. Maybe, for example, I like to talk about how I can be more mindful and present in the recording. What are some other things that will help me to become more and mindful okay so that is really that is still part of the core competency but we are not reviewing based on how the core competency is showing up in a recording this is more like really targeting at your own personal growth so this is where package 4 and package 5 is for some people you may just want to take a combination which you can take it in package 6 now in addition to that we have recently upgraded uh, included uh, learning resource because we felt that some students do you some of the students have requested you know how can i constantly be reminded of certain way of coaching and how can i hear more of those recording so that you know i, I can try to moderate you can keep, do now right now by purchasing the review where in this record in this uh package seven you can hear the three different recording performed at acc pcc and mcc level Okay, um, yeah, where I, I, I demonstrate the, the level at this three different, and I demonstrate this three different level. You can listen to the recording for one week, and you feel that you need to, after one week and after a while, you want to get back again and say, I want to hear back that, I want to hear that again. You can extend it again for another $50. So basically, this is for you to preview the recording that is done by me at ACC, PCC, and MCC level. Okay. I think. And then the second resources that we have just recently add on is the virtual learning portal. In this virtual learning portal, basically what it does is that you can review the four days of classroom learning, uh, where it is not presented. It is not presented exactly the same way as you, you have heard it in the classroom learning, but it sort of like sum out the key learning. In addition to that, the the videos clips are some of the uh, important video clips are found there, and the next one is, uh. The sample recording that you have heard, uh, where you have heard during the classroom, is also in this portal. So it's a very valuable resource. And in addition to that, uh, I have included some more uh, reading material to enhance the learning, to, to, to concrete your knowledge. So this is a new portal that has been just created. Okay, You can listen to that for a period of, I think, three weeks. Two weeks or three weeks, I've not decided yet. But basically, it's some, it has the uh, what is the coaching, what is the coaching conversation, and what is the coaching process to review back your learning. So that is, and with the help of the video clips, the sample recording, and additional resource. Okay, so these are learning resource that you can purchase to continue to enhance your learning after 
your 60 hours of training. So these are the mentor coaching package that is being available. Uh, in addition to any, uh, any of the six package that you, you have purchased, you are welcome to join in the practical coaching session where I'm leading and be uh, there as an observer and then join me in the one-to-one -one private session as an observer. So in the one-to-one -one private uh, session, you, you, you will not be uh, giving your comments. You'll basically listen and observe what I'm, uh, the, the conversation. Okay, I think this is the most valuable part because I'm helping the coach to match up the skills with the competency. Okay, this is really the most valuable part of all the mental coaching parts. So you are invited to join in to attend the one-to-one -one session. Okay, so let me just pause here at this point of time to see does anyone has any question regarding the mental coaching part? Uh, mentor coaching part, uh, Ben, if I've been asked. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you mentioned just now that uh, uh, what call we can you can uh, we can reach a stage where we can be qualified as a mentor coach, uh, even at the uh, with the first ACC qualification, right? Yes. Yes. Will that it will be useful if we can be part of your faculty? You know. Okay, great. That would be great. So, so uh, because we are we are uh, you know like we are being brought up by you, we've been trained successfully by you, and then we can be part of your faculty that you can draw upon to use this. You know, I think the mental coaching part is up to individual to source. So we will not want to sell mental coaches at this point of time, but uh, individual can look for their own mental coach because. Um, each mentor coach has their own unique package. So far, our academy have not standardized a mentor coaching uh, package, a uh, mentor training, mentor coaching training package yet. So we will not be consolidating a list of mentor coach at this point of time. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Yes. Anyone has any question yes. regarding the mentor coaching package? Yes, Ben. Um, yeah. May I repeat uh, a sure. second for the sam sample like a uh, package two, right? Uh -huh. Then uh, we have the review of the one recording. Uh -huh. um, by that, we we gonna do at the session. We don't have to to listen to the recording before, right? No, I, like, I'm, uh, I'm not understanding your question. Can you re can you rephrase yeah. it again? Because uh, as the man mentor coaching uh, session, we uh -huh. have the each session uh, continuously, right? And when we talk about the first session of the review of the one recording, mm -hmm. right, with the full analysis feedback, mm -hmm. like that, so we will listen to the recording. Uh, no, no, the no, 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 no. This review of one recording is you coaching a client, a real client, and send that recording to me to be reviewed. Ah. ah. That is your so, actual skill demonstration of your coaching. You had to coach one client, real client, and uh -huh. send that recording to me to be reviewed and analyzed. And then we will debrief you based on that recording. I see. So this is the one that uh we send uh submit uh to you also that you uh, can't by the end. You can mm -hmm. use that. You can use that or a mm -hmm. totally new one. It doesn't matter. But it has to be one coaching session of a real client. Mm. Okay. And then uh the and then the second the second session that uh we will say that how how it not sound right. Yeah, that is like where you go to the sound. yeah, that's where you go to the you are the, the portal that has been created for you. Inside there there is one recording that you should be reviewing. And then based on that recording you review how is that recording not sounds like ACC. Yeah. By right. that uh where, uh, we have to receive the the recording from you, right? No, the recording is inside the 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 the, 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 the website that is sent to you via the URL link. Ah, so I I wait for the link, right? The link has yeah, the link has been sent to you already. Yeah, can you ah. confirm that by email with me? Good. Any yeah, mm -hmm. okay, got it. Sure. Any ask anyone else have any clarification? 
Ah yes, Ben. Uh huh. Ah, uh, you are very experienced and have went through many uh, uh, mentor coaching recording of all these things. Ah, uh, is there a case where you have come across where somebody has done this uh, as a coach and has performed a perfect model of a uh, meeting the core competencies that we can hear? Yeah, yeah. Of ICF. There are a lot, a lot of our students has graduated and approved by ICF and got their ACC. So most of the recording has been vetted by me. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. So that one is there. Is there a sample that we can hear why they are they have achieved this uh, the best among the best? There is one recording, sample recording in your CD that you can hear that I've selected for. Okay. Okay. Just okay. refer back to that thank CD. You. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so for those uh, who are here for the sake of clarity, there is one, there is actually two sample recording that is inside your CD that I've included for your learning that you can model as one that is fully meeting the ACC requirements. So those package that you're buying is something far above that. So it is revealing of your recording. Okay, great, thank you. So is there any question regarding the mental coaching? If not, I'll be answering the questions that has been posed regarding the mentor coaching in the Dropbox. Okay, how to have mentor coaching? I think I have, I have um, answered that. You can either Google, search for your own, or come back to the academy where you can engage this uh, various package. Uh, to, um, how do we tell the clients to agree that they have benefit? There is no need to, for you to ask the clients to agree that whether they benefit from the coaching. Basically, they just need to say that they are having a coaching session with you. Okay. Uh, back to the 100 hours and into the maximum hours that can be submitted. Uh, the internal coach, there is no limit as to how many, uh, how many hours you need for group coaching. In terms of the specific requirements, please check back on the website. The website has been very clear regarding the requirements. Okay, so let's go there and check it out. There's no clarification on that. So, okay, again, back to the exact requirements. Again, please refer to the website. At what stage of applying ACC should we start mental coaching? You can start your mental coaching almost near to the tail end of your 60 hours training. Okay, almost at the tail end. That means for those who are completing your training soon, your 9 or 10 practical session, or have already completed your 10 practical session in the process of doing the uh, review and stuff like that, you can right now start your mental coaching to save a lot of time because the mental coaching itself will take minimum four to five four to six weeks to complete depending on you know the intensity and how fast you want that to be done also on the availability of the mentor coach regarding the mentor coaching package if i buy any package how can i apply it for 10 hours mentor coaching at the end of the package finish you will be receiving a memo certifying that what level of acc are you performing Ideally, you should aim for full uh, demonstrations. For example, someone came in who wanted to buy package two. And after the first reviewing of the recording, if that recording demonstrates a full, uh, has a full demonstration of ACC, then you will receive a memo to say that, of course, you have to complete session two and session three. And then you know attend the rest of the session as observer. But we put it there that it is really optional for you if you want to come in and attend as observer. We don't make it mandatory that you must before we give you the memo. But it's basically the platform are open for you if you know to continue to learn. But once you have completed three sessions, you will receive a memo to state that you have completed ten hours of mentor coaching. Now, assuming you come in with package 2 and the first reviewing of the recording demonstrate a weak or almost meeting, well, usually the mentor coach will advise you to top out either with one more reviewing 
or with something else with at, at the additional fees that they both maturely agreed upon. If you choose not to, then the memo will only state the exact numbers of the exact hours that you have been working with me as a mentor coach. And in that memo, it will state that you your level, uh, for example, you, you enroll for package number two. And after the first revealing, it demonstrates a weak rec uh, weak I mean, demonstrate a weak lab, uh, weak demonstration. I will write in the memo, and you, you, and you felt that there's no need to continue the package, or you felt that you need to, you want to work with another mentor coach, which is fine. In that case, I will set, I will prepare a memo for you that you have completed three hours because each session is about one hour. I will say that you have completed three hours of mentor coaching with me, and at that level, you have, and 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 that. Three session, you had demonstrated a week that uh, you had, uh, you know, you, you, you that there is a weak demonstration of ACC requirement. But and nevertheless, you have three hours on your paper. And then, if you decided to say, I like to work with a mentor coach B, and you continue on with another seven session, and by the end of seven session, you, you know, the mentor coach says that you have you have clearly demonstrated a full ACC level, then you can add the seven plus three. As your supporting documents, and send it to ICF. So a memo uh, uh, of uh, completion will be issued to you. Hope this clarified. Now ICF at this point of time in your online application, they does not require you to submit the memo, but ICF will verify with the mentor coach whether this session has been taken place or not and at what level is this person performing okay so the verification is more on the back end not on the not on you okay the mental coach will verify with icf whether the mental coaching session is taken place or not okay hope this answers the questions and another yes. one is just a minute. Let me go through the uh, question first. Regarding the emails about mental coaching, there is no link to the three sample recording. Uh, I'm not sure about what you mean by there is no link to the three sample record. In the, men in the mental coaching package, unless you purchase the preview of recording, if not otherwise, you will not be able to assess my recording uh, performing at ACC, PCC, and MCC level. Basically, at the, the package you're pur purchasing is about you coaching and not so much me coaching. Okay, so hope this clarify. Faisal, okay, no question, no questions. When you say that, when you say ten hours of mental coaching, is it we have to send ten recording? No, no. Uh, ICF um uh ICF only requires you to work with the coach individually for three hours minimum. Okay, the ten hours of mental coaching varies according to what different mental coach offers package is. Some of them requires you to send in ten recordings. Some re requires you to attend group meeting, some requires you one-to-one -one session. It really comes in all sizes, so there is no standard regulation. I mean, there is no sta uh, no standardization on what is needed. Okay, hopefully that clarifies. So when you're looking for a mental coach, make sure you clarify what packaging, what packages offer that is. When we start collecting clients coaching hours after finish 60 hours, I've answered that question when, when you start collecting your client coaching hours. It, all it needs is that you have to show proof that there is an agreement and there is a transaction. Work with the bare minimum. Regarding coaching hours, agreement and transaction 100 hours. That's all you need to work. We don't want to make it very complicated. Okay, ICF only looks at the end of the day whether there is an agreement and there's a transaction and how much hours is paid and how much is pro bonus and whether it's individual group or internal. That's all they're looking at. Okay, so hope this clarify. And the last one is, do I go for one mentor coach or more? You can go for a, uh, 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 you doesn't have to go for one mentor coach. You can go for a different mentor coach. What is neat is that you complete 10 hours. The number of mentor coaches, it does not regulate at this point of time. Okay. Does a student's mentor coach 
consider. No, this is not. You have to be personally mentored with uh with that agreement between you and the mentor coach. Okay, so this is the service that um that uh, I mean, uh, you have to engage a mentor coach and get the memo from the mentor coach. Uh, that is what I'm trying to say here. Okay, Jason. Thank you. Now, is there any other questions regarding the mentor coaching package offered by the academy or the mentor coaching uh, requirements by ICF? Uh, one question, Ben. Uh -huh. uh, yes, looking at it, if I, if I look at it from the positive angle, suppose there's a candidate who uh, doesn't fully meet the what I call the expectation of the mentor coach, which you mentioned just now, then uh, there will be this memo which says the weakness of the candidate that may uh, may affect the candidate when he, you know, uh, when ICF review the thing, you know. Uh, would it be better that you say to the candidate, okay, this is your area of weakness, but let me coach you to overcome it, you know, so that you can be a perf uh, meet the full requirements. But of course, they have to pay extra fee, la, fair enough. Yeah, if they if the student doesn't want to pay it for the additional help to meet the requirement at the full level, then the mentor mem the yeah. memo has to state at what level the candidate is performing when the mentor coaching. Yeah, no, no, I I agree, but the point is that it doesn't serve the objective, the goal of the candidate, right? The if objective they don't want to... is to collect yeah. the hours, because at the end no, of not just the... collect hours, but also meet the requirement that the the mentor coach says so, you know. Yes, certainly. It is the student, yeah. it is the coach responsibility to be able yes. to fully meet. But if the coach doesn't want to continue on the learning, that is as far yes. as the agreements can carry on. Correct, certainly, correct, correct. all mental coach to doesn't want to end off with a weak requirement, and certainly extra help would yeah, be yeah. given. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So I think that is very important uh, because otherwise the uh, the candidate may get frightened. You know? The decision is at the candidate's <laughs> level, not the mentor yeah, coach yeah. level. Yes, okay. Yeah, because correct, the, correct, the yeah. mentor coach can offers all the help. If the learning does not take place, then yes, there yes. is a responsibility of the coach to continue the learning to, to fully met the requirement. If not, yes. otherwise, the memo will state accordingly to what level the, men the coach is performing. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Good. Please reconfirm the logo that we can use after we complete. Let me get back to that later. Let me just uh finish up all the discussion yes. regarding mentor coach first. Okay. Let me just go through the question yes. first. Just a minute, Sarah. That does it yes, mean that the yes. mentor coach will verify ten hours, and we do not need to buy? Yes, you are right. ICF will only verify with the mentor coach. If you have, if you are working with one mentor coach. The verification is at the mentor coach level, not the student's level. All you need to do is declare and ICL will verify with the mentor coach. Okay, good. Can you share the logo? Okay, okay that's so, great. Uh, practically, uh -huh. Yes, go uh, ahead. Practically, uh, yes, please. Uh, practically, it's for the mentor coach. Um, just we just uh, take the session and then you will get the feedback and then we, we can discuss uh, between that course anyway, right? Yes. Uh, to complete the LOI. Yes. Yeah. So the, the mentor coach may offer you to review the coaching, uh, uh, to preview recording or to go through the virtual learning platform again and to complete the 10 hours. Or maybe he felt that maybe just one more reviewing or one recording to make sure you understood that. So that is mm -hmm. really subjective to where your learning level is at that point of time. And you will have a very uh, objective, tangible data to verify it. why is it your uh, uh, recording is demonstrating at the weak level and how is it that it's demonstrating it adequately and not fully. You can see that based on the analyst report. Mm -hmm. Got it? So we can get the consult on the way. That's yes, about. yes, okay. yes. Okay, okay it's Thank not based you. on gut feeling, how I think it should not, but it really... It really on a very objective assessment on the, the question that is being asked in the recording. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Good, good. Jason, I'm not understanding your question, so I will just put that aside first. Um, uh, more clear about the career path of the coach. Let me just put that aside first. What I mean to take certified coach to which... Um, yeah, let's put that aside first. I would like to clear off 
the credential pathway first so that the rest of the question that is not related to um, the credential part will do it offline for mentor coach as we sign up what when do we expect the recording okay when you sign up with the mentor coach especially you sign up with me i will have a, a, the initial uh, discussion with you on the timeline because at, at this current moment i'm dealing with 10 students okay so i will meet up with you and we'll work out a schedule that is comfortable for both to meet so we will contract the agreement on the scheduling part on a one-to-one -one basis okay so again it is really based on your timing and my timing and we'll come up with a best match and i try to clear everybody within four weeks if not at the latest is six weeks and there again it also depends on your schedule hope that answers your question tida we find the clients on your own yes certainly you have to find your clients on your own the mental coach doesn't help you to find the client you can coach your own cohort okay but we don't find the clients for you thank you okay uh i will not answer the question about career path of the coach there's some, nothing to i don't see uh, i mean that, that the connection to the credential part is not so good Okay, good. So, is there anyone has any question regarding the mental coaching? Anyone has any question regarding the mental coaching? Okay, if not, otherwise, I'll go to the last part for the coach uh, knowledge assessment. Basically, this is the written exam. Once you have uh, all the documents ready, you sign, uh, you apply. Upon application, you will receive an invitation to complete this uh, written assessment and the sample questions are available in the website under view ckc sample questions so you will have a good feel of what that is okay so i have completed my presentation right now on the requirements needed to uh, apply for your credential so let me get back to uh, the question again can we see the question on the screen yes howard go to icf website under coach knowledge assessment, you can review the sample questions. Uh, the, uh, let's go back to the uh, logo. After you complete your 60 hours of training, you cannot put any logo on your business card, but you can put the title as a certified coach. If you are a member of ICF, then you can put ICF logo on your business card. And if you are a credential, if you are a credential coach, you can put your credential logo on the business card. Okay, hope that's answered your question, Tida. And okay. And one more question. Certified coach. Yes, you can put that as certified coach. You are absolutely correct, Tida. Okay, great. Is there any other questions? Wow, it's running a little bit longer than what I expect. I thought it would end off in 13 minutes by the end of one hour and 15 minutes. Okay, good. Uh, Itipan has a question. To prepare for 100 and some kids. Okay, the, the, the sample question is in the website. Okay, you have a few of the sample questions in the website. So please visit the website to know how the question is being phrased basically it is not a technical or academic questions okay if you have 100 hours of coaching clients experience you go through the core competency you understand how they sounds like very likely you should be able to go and prepare for the written exam okay thank you itipa for that anyone else have a questions Okay, I will not deal with the ACTP at this level. We just want to clear the ACC level. So I will not answer that question for anything with the PCC level. Okay, good. Anyone else at ETPA, if you want, you can email me offline regarding that. Okay, if there, I will just count down to at five if there is no questions. Okay. The ACTP training is still pending. Uh, we, we are going to roll for ACTP, just that it's a matter of when we are going to roll it out because um, we are still trying to come up with a, a framework for the advanced coaching and it's still in the design stage that is not finalizing. Okay. I can't promise an exact deadline when we are doing that, but it's still in the design stage. 
Okay, anyone else has any question regarding the credential? Okay, let's keep the ACTP program uh, separate first. Let's focus on clearing the students for ACC level at this point of time as almost 95% of them are at this so, level. Uh -huh. So the written exam for, uh, for the ICF, the 155 multiple choices, could come back uh, uh, later after the mental coaching. Yes, that is a later stage. That is a final stage. Thank you. Okay, good. Anyone else got any other last question to clarify in order to move forward to apply for your credential? So if not, I'm going to end all the session because I need to run for another meeting. So what I would suggest is that for those who are seriously thinking about applying for your credential, and if you need, to, the, ne the next thing that I can see that you need to clear is your mentor coaching package. So if that is your intention and you want to get it from the academy where there is a fast track with all the seven, eight packages that I just mentioned through, I would appreciate if you could quickly get back to me so that I can schedule the time because my schedule is available only in June, July and mid-August. And after that, I'm not taking any mental coaching packages until end of the year December so the best time for you to do that is actually now in July where I will be devote just on doing the mental coaching part okay and I will appreciate that so that we can all do a perfect scheduling okay so if not otherwise thank you for your time I will be sending the uh, recording of this link to you where we can review again and if you have any other questions, first go to the ICF website first. Make this as a habit for yourself to check those information on the website. And then if anything that is not clear in the website, then you, uh, you can try to verify with me. Okay, and I'll do my best to get back to you on that. So with that, thank you for your time. I will see you again. Bye.